What's going on guys, welcome to the video. So today I just wanna start this off with a little story. It's something I talked to one of my Elite Challenge members, Ray, about, and it's about how opportunity is a lot of times disguised as temporary misfortune or temporary defeat. And I actually posted this quote to my Instagram uh, about a week or so ago, but I wanna talk about how a period in my life when I thought I really failed or was defeated or it was like a big string of misfortune actually led to one of the best things that ever has happened in my life. So if we flash back to the winter of 2015, I had dropped out of college, I was trying to pursue a professional contract, um, I was had all these opportunities that were really coming up in the USL, over in Iceland, Canada, stuff that was really happening and I was really excited and there was no doubt in my mind that one of these opportunities was not gonna work out. I was sure of it. But then just one by one, these opportunities that I had, like five or six really concrete opportunities, started to break apart, fall apart. And it wasn't long until I had no opportunities left at all. The only thing I had was a training spot, a practice player spot for Sacramento Republic. And this was just like expenses paid, just come train, don't play in games. And it was a good opportunity, but nothing compared to what I had. And it was at this point in my life where I really thought like I failed, I was defeated. I had all these opportunities. In my mind, all I could see was me signing a contract in the USL or somewhere around the world, and it didn't work out. But because of that temporary defeat or that temporary misfortune, I took it upon myself to really tell myself that I wasn't good enough and that I really needed to ramp up everything in order to make it to the pro level. I was training every single day with Sacramento Republic. Weekends I was driving five hours down to LA to play these games with Ventura County Fusion. And then on top of that all the time, I was getting about three or four extra training sessions on my own to improve the stuff that I needed, the stuff that I saw in these trainings with Sacramento Republic that I lacked, which is first touch, comfort on the ball, tight space dribbling. And then I was working out three or four times a week on top of that. So I was doing so much because all I could see, all I could imagine with myself was just playing at this USL level, how badly I wanted to play at the USL level. I also was making zero money. Sacramento Republic was just giving me just enough money to cover my gas when I would drive down to LA, drive back to LA, drive to trainings. They would give me breakfast and lunch. But other than that, that was it. I had to pay all my other expenses. So in order to do this, I started this thing called Become Elite, if you guys have heard of it. And the whole idea behind it was maybe to get a little bit extra income coaching, start a YouTube channel, maybe make a little bit of ad revenue, just to do something with my time that would also allow me to get to the field, train, do drills, and just take up some of my free time. This temporary misfortune defeat that I felt from not making this USL team and getting a pro contract, I channeled it, I pushed it to this new opportunity of trying to find a new way to sustain myself, a new way to occupy my time, and a new way to even push my skills and my training, my own personal training and skills to the next level so I could make the USL. And then flash forward three years, I've now played two full seasons in the USL. I was a starter for both the two teams I was with. I really had a successful run in the USL for those two years, and I'm hoping to get back into the USL or an equivalent league sometime next year. But I owe that success, I owe that to that temporary defeat and misfortune I felt from not making a team and being a practice player with Sacramento Republic. It allowed me to meet people at Sacramento like Ivan Mirkovich. It allowed me to work on my own training and to see why I wasn't good enough to take my training to the next level. It allowed me to start a side hustle, something that I wanted to really work on and create, which is now a full-time business with Become Elite, something that is now setting me up for life after I'm done playing with a career, wherever I'm done playing, whenever I'm done playing, it will set me up later with a job. During that time, during 2015, I really thought that I failed. But looking back on my life, I am so happy that I failed. And that that failure pushed me to find new opportunities. So that quote about how opportunity is often disguised is true over and over again in my life. And I know it's gonna be true for your guys' life. So that's pretty much the end of story time. It's in the morning now. I'm gonna go get a workout, um, but I really wanted to share that because I shared that with Ray. Ray's going through a very similar thing where the opportunities are kind of falling out and I'm just telling him, look, you haven't failed. This stuff is not, you know, it's not a defeat. Look at the opportunities that come out of it and I think he has a very good mindset. So let's go get a workout in.
good i'm excited for to come back to the states and uh just do whatever's next and he was like awesome i'm pumped that you're feeling good he's like that that assist was awesome and he basically just said i'll set something else but it was like really positive yeah now it's just working it from every, all everybody yeah just and who's, who's who in the zoo now i was like working to get these opportunities but in the back of my head i knew that my body wasn't going to be able to handle it you know right and now right. it's like no give me an opportunity like even just a trial because I know my body can handle it. I feel I feel good, you know, which is a really yeah. which is a good feeling. So for breakfast, surprise, surprise, going with an egg scramble, some bell peppers, mushrooms, and then just a ton of fruit. These gold kiwis are bomb. They're pretty lit. They're, they're pretty lit. People made fun of you because you said, um, not make fun of you. One no, 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 they didn't make fun of me. They liked it. Did you see that? Yeah. What'd you say? Look at that view, fam. But look at that fam. Look at that fam. Mimi 2018. So I had a really, really good gym session. I'm really ramping up the cardio like I've been talking about. So I'm trying to get up to pretty much where I was before heading into preseason with St. Louis FC last winter last last winter so 2017 winter that's where i want to be i want to be 2017 winter 16. january january 2017 so right before i was heading into st louis when i was like in prime fitness right before heading into preseason that's where i want to be right now and so i did a little bit of running but i'll show you real quick the the differences of the routines that i've been doing of like this four lap three lap two lap one lap type routine I know I want to also be able to do lots of like sprint work and conditioning work where it's mainly about improving short accelerations and speed because that's more relevant to the game, but it also is good to test your longer distance endurance as well. So I think you kind of need it all. Right now we've already had breakfast, we've been chilling or kind of lunch, it's like a breakfast lunch thing, but we're going to go get some yeah, coffee. I think they call that brunch. Do they? Yeah. I always thought it was... Breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go get coffee right now at Havana Works, um, which is right up the street. Very cool that we're in this kind of this situation. Yep. One thing that's very different about Mimi and I is our is our shopping techniques. I Yours just sucks. I, mine, mine does suck. You have no technique. That's my technique, my, I just run into the store and I'm like very like go go go. I don't want to waste time. So like when it comes to he toothpaste, he doesn't even look at what he's grabbing he'll or tea. He'll buy the wrong thing. I will literally just go time. and just like if I need cream or milk, I'll just go and grab the first one I see and get out of there. Mimi sits there and she waits and she analyzes and she yeah we'll go this way. She sits and she waits and she analyzes until she knows for sure exactly like the type that you want. Like a smart shopper. Like a smart shopper. And I'm just like no no no. Let's just go. Let's get it over with. Let's go. And I always have to go back and get the second, like a second time to get what I need. 
while Mimi can just, she knows what she wants and she never makes those mistakes. So, but it also takes 10 minutes. We made it. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good. We're going to film like a snacks video, a New Zealand snacks or like candy lollies video, trying out the new, uh, of the snacks or the candy of New Zealand, like first pineapple lumps, first impressions, pineapple lumps, Jaffa, stuff like that. Like I've never had Jaffa's before. Mimi hasn't had a lot of the New Zealand candy or lollies as they say. So we want to try to try it out and taste test them on her channel. If you're not following Mimi yet, go follow her, yeah, her, YouTube, her YouTube <laughs> channel. That's in the description, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited for this video. I think it'll be a really good one. Shelly's at a uh, training right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what he usually gets for dinner when he comes home. Usually, I'll just make some basmati rice with vegetables, chicken, and some sort of sauce on there, and then some fruit. And he usually has this every single night. And, I mean, I guess if you guys really want to, you can go over and follow my channel, Mimi Estelle. Ready to go, Chef Mimi. Woo! Just got back from team training. Um, these night sessions, it's, it's rough. But it's really nice because like the field is like 10 minutes away. Just a 10 minute like run. So I just get all ready. I run to the field. It's a really good warm up. I do all my prehab stuff. And then I just go straight into the training session. And it's a really good way to get warmed up right before, especially on these cold nights. But um, back right now, it's exactly 10 o'clock. Mimi was nice and she made me some chicken and rice and some veggies with an orange and water. Thank you, Mimi. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna, it's my job. I'm pretty much gonna eat this and then go to bed. <laughs>